All right, so in this video, we're going to be making use of Python, specifically a Imgur Python client-side library to extract and upload content to the well-known website imgur.com, which if you're not aware, you should be. It's a very well-known uh, image sharing website and uh, well, I probably spent a lot of time on this website. So uh, I liked it a lot, which is why I had a lot of fun playing around with Imgur Python. So anyway, what is Imgur Python? If you navigate to this link, which I'll provide in the description below, it is the official Imgur Python client library. And this will allow us to uh, essentially very easily, using some built-in functions, extract and upload content to Imgur. So uh, we will be making use of this quite extensively in this tutorial series. And one thing that we will require, of course, for our tutorial is Python, at least 2.7. So if you don't have that installed on your machine, I suggest you get that. And the other thing that we'll need is this module called requests. So uh, if you want, open up a terminal. And what you need to do is pip install requests. You may already have this installed on your machine. Uh, indeed, I do. It says I already have this satisfied. If you don't, go ahead and give that a run. It doesn't hurt if you already have it installed. You can see it just tells you that you already have it. The other thing that we'll need is the Imgur Python client-side library. So, same thing. Pip install Imgur Python. Again, I already have this installed on my machine, so we're seeing a few requirements satisfied there. Uh, but if you don't, go ahead and install it. And one way you can very easily check if you have both of these things successfully installed in your machine is to open up a Python terminal, pop in import, uh, what do we got, requests, and import imgur python. And if you don't see any error messages pop up when you try and import both of these modules, you are good to go. Everything is ready to be run on your machine, and we're ready to have some fun with Python and imgur. So I'm going to exit out of that terminal, clear here. I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to go over to this folder here, which is just some folder I've created on my desktop called Imgur Python. You can call it whatever you want. And this is where we're going to be putting all of these scripts uh, that we're going to be writing in this series of videos. So the first one is really just going to be a kind of a hello world type application that we're going to write, which is going to be our first uh, excursion in the API. And uh, this is really going to be setting up how we um, get an application to talk to Imgur and also how we can extract uh, in this case, the gallery or the main page of, um, you know, whatever happens to be in the front page of Imgur for that day. We can get the titles, we can get the view counts, uh, these sorts of things. So we'll be writing a script that will allow us to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new Python script. And I'm going to call this imgur.py, very creative name. Open that up and bring that over here. So what we're going to do in this script here is I'm first going to import from Imgur Python, import Imgur client. So this is the, uh, we're gonna create a client object which will allow us to uh, interface with Imgur itself. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a client. And I'm gonna say client is equal to Imgur client. And this is uh, this thing here that we've just imported. And this takes two arguments. The first is a client ID, and the next is what is called a client secret. So you're probably asking yourself, what is client ID and what is a client secret? So these are some things that we have to get from Imgur, uh, the website Imgur itself. So in order for us to obtain these uh, things, we can go over to our web browser again. And if you go to this link, which I've also provided in the description, this is something essential. We need to register our application. So if you go to uh, api.imgur.com, hashtag register app, again, the link's in the description, you can register your application, and that is how you obtain your client ID and client secret. So go ahead and click register application, and it's going to ask you for some information here. So it's going to ask you for a name for your application, uh, whether or not it has a callback. Uh, really all you need to do is put in any name you like. I just, I think I put in test for my application. Um, I put in without a callback because I'm not going to be making use of the callback URL. So this thing goes blank. And then you can put in this other information here. Uh, if it has anything to do with the website, it's totally optional. You don't need to put that. Uh, you will need to put in your email and a brief description of the application that you're going to be writing. So you can just put in something like, uh, you know, test application, hello world application, 
something simple. It's not going to be doing anything very complicated. And then just verify you're not a robot if you're not a robot. And then you hit submit. And once you hit submit, you will be um, presented with a page that will have your client ID and client secret. Uh, these are things which were supposed to be kept secret, so I'm not filling this out and hitting submit. Uh, if you do, all you need to do is copy both the uh, client ID and client secret from the page that you get here after you hit submit, and then um, essentially just paste it into this uh, area here. Now, one way that's a little bit more pragmatic with dealing with, um, I guess, pieces of data, specifically like usernames, passwords, and these sorts of things, is to maybe put them in some type of configuration file or an INI file, and then just pull from that, uh, and just you know allow us to um, you know not have it in plain text in this uh, in this file. And indeed, I guess if I'm making a YouTube video, I probably don't want that hanging around in plain text anyway. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to call it, uh, let's call this auth.ini. And this is where we're going to put all of our um, credentials. Uh, in this case, we're going to have the client secret and client ID. But we'll also probably want to have um, our Imgur username and our Imgur password. So if you don't have an Imgur account, uh, you won't need one for this um, for this particular tutorial. But if you do follow along in the other videos, I believe you will need a username and password, and it's also uh, you know a fun site to be on. So go ahead and sign up. Anyway, so I'm going to type in here credentials, and I'm just going to type in client ID equal client secret equal imgur username equal imgur password equal. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm also going to, yeah, that's all I need. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, I'm not going to put any information in this video, but what you will do is when you obtain that, um, that information after you hit submit on this page, I want you to paste both the client ID, <clears throat> the client secret, and if you have an Imgur username and password, I want you to paste all of those things into this file. No quotations, no nothing like that. And then when you do that, go ahead and save the file and close it. And then what we can do is we can import that content uh, from that auth INI file into this thing here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste something over that has that content already for me. So I'm just going to paste it over there, place it, right. So let me open that up. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import that uh, authorization information that we have in auth.ini into this and feed it into this variable here for client ID and client secret. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called config parser. Uh, you should have this installed on your machine, but if you don't, it's easy enough to obtain. Again, just using pip, pip install config parser. And I believe this will be different if you have Python 2.7 or Python 3. If you have Python 2.7, I believe both the C and the P are uppercase. Uh, otherwise, if you're running Python 3 like me, you can just use config parser all lowercase. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say config is equal to config parser dot config parser. And oops, that's not what I wanted to do, sublime text. Parser, there we go. And then I'm going to say config.read, and I'm going to give it the name of the file. So the name of the file with all of our credentials is called auth.ini, and I'm just going to put that right in there. Uh, and of course, this is also in the same directory as the Imgur script. So I'm just, I'm not even going to specify a path, I'm just going to say, here's the file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say client ID is equal to config.get credentials and client ID. Because remember what we did is we had credentials in square brackets at the top. That's what this refers to. And then we it's going to look below that and it's going to see where where is client ID. And it's going to extract whatever is on the right hand side of the equal sign. Get it from the configuration file, within this, which in this case is off the I and I store it into this variable and we're going to want to do the same thing or a similar thing for client secret which is config.get again credentials credentials and client secrets so we've got that all set to go and now when we run this thing 
it's going to have the right client ID and the right client secret. It's going to create the client object here, and then we can use that to interface with Imgur. So let's just write a very quick little easy script that will allow us to get all of the items from the front page of Imgur, which is this thing here, and uh, let's have it print out the, uh, let's say the title of the image and also the views, the number of views that the image has gotten. So let's go back here, and the nice thing about this is that the Imgur client makes that quite easy. We can say items is equal the client.gallery and so what this is going to return is this is going to return a list of all of the items or the or the images in the gallery, in this case the front page of Imgur. And then what we want to do, uh, and actually what we can do is before we even do anything after this is we can just print out items. And if we do this, hopefully, we'll see, let's see what we got here. Credentials, doesn't know what credentials is. Uh, let's see, I probably spelled something wrong. Credentials, yeah, that's definitely not how you spell it. All right, let's try that again. And oh, well, good, we got it. We got the uh, objects. So right now it doesn't look like anything because we're printing out just um, essentially the object of the item without dereferencing what we want from that. So in this case, we're going to want to pull the link, the title, the views, whatever. Uh, right now it's getting those items, but it's just giving us um, kind of the objects that those correspond to, which is not very uh, useful to us. So what we want to do is we want to loop through this items list. So we'll say for item in items. And then what we're going to want to do is we're just going to print, let's say item.link. Um, I let's say print item.title and print item.views. Why not, why not all of those things? So if you look at the documentation on the um, on the website here for Imgur Python, you can see all of the uh, all of the things that you could you could put there. So, for instance, I know that that um, where is it? There it is. That link, title, and views are things that are valid um, things that I can put the dot after, uh, and all of those are going to be listed in the documentation. So let me just let me just run this. Let me just Control B, and what do we have here? So we have all of the front page material. Uh, let me scroll up here. We've got the link for the first item on the front page. Oh my God, I'm crying, or oh my goodness, I'm crying, and that's got 70,000 views. So let's just take a peek at the front page of Imgur. Go here. Oh my God, I'm crying, or oh my goodness, I'm crying. <laughs> so what's the second one? Let's go back. Uh, good boy. Let's see. Good boy. There it is. So we've got all of those extracted, and that's kind of neat. So let's see. What, what's something that we can do that's just really simple and easy with uh, this information that we've extracted so far. One thing that we can do, so let me just comment that out and say this extracts uh, the items, or let's even say the images, on the front page of Imgur. Cool, so we have that. So let's say that we want to find, um, I don't know, the item on the front page of Imgur that has the most views. So it, we're going to be doing something similar. Um, so I'll just put that as a comment. What we want to do now is we want to find the, uh, let's say, find the image on the front page that has the highest number of views. So, okay, so again, we're going to want to get items from the uh, gallery at the front page of Imgur. And let's say we can say max item for now is equal to none, max views say is equal to zero, and we can loop through the uh, list of items again. So we can say for item in, in uh, let's see, in items, had a bit of a lapse in memory there. Um, if item.views, because we know we can do, we can check how many views a particular item has, so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of the items in the list that we get back from the front page, and we're going to check if that item views is, let's say, greater than max views, which is set initially to zero. So if this views is greater than zero in the first iteration of the loop, what we will do is we'll say the max uh, item will be equal to item, and then the max views are equal to item.views. And let's see, so if we do that, and if we just say print max item.title, so I'm keeping track of the item here, so that way I know, um, you know, if I want to like refer to the title of that, or the views, or uh, the link, or whatever, 
I keep track of that particular item. And of course, uh, this max views keeps track of whichever item on the front page has the most views. So uh, if I print the this thing here, and if I print the, let's say, print max views, I should get one item, which is skateboarding under high heels. And that is the one that has the most views on the front page, which, let's see, I guess, uh, I don't know if I can see it anywhere here. It's not really obvious from just looking at this page. Uh, but anyway, that's one thing that you can do from just extracting some data from Imgur. Kind of cool. Uh, in the coming videos, what we'll do is we'll see how we can um, upload images to Imgur as well. And also, uh, I don't know, we'll see what else we can do. So thanks again for watching this first video. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.